Hi everyone, welcome to the first episode of my new series, The Bow Academy. Today we're going to talk about something that I've been asked a lot, which is what are my key writings for bow or mouse and keyboard. Alright, so let's get started. Since I'm coming from FPS, I've been trying to make my bow experience as close as possible to an FPS game. This is why for the primary fire, which is called Rapids, I use the left click. And like in an FPS, I aim with the right click. For the spread, I use the side mouse button 1, it's the one that's closest to the left click. It allows me to quickly and easily do the spread with my thumb after or before rapid. To roll or dash, I use the spacebar. Again, like in an FPS, I use the button R to apply or remove coatings. To switch to the claw when I have my weapon drawn, I use the side button 2 on my mouse. Just be mindful that you have to be aiming in order to change stance. To fire the clutch claw, I use the mouse side button 1. It's the same button that I use for the spread. When you are close on the monster, I use the left mouse button to do a flinch shot. If I want to do a slap, I use the side mouse button 1. Again, it's the same button that I use for the spread. For the claw attack, I use the button R. Unfortunately, you cannot change this one, it's going to be the same button that you use for your cuttings. I use the shift button to sheath, and it's the same button that I use to sprint. To unsheath, there are two options. The first option is to press the button R to unsheath without shooting. On a side note, you should almost always unsheath without shooting. If you do want to unsheath while shooting, you can use the left click mouse button. For the rest of my key bindings, I'm going to show them on the screen right now. For the radial menu, I use T, G and Y because they're closer to the movement keys for me. You can keep using F1, F2 and F3, it's not a big deal. For the camera menu, I use 0.55 for the sensitivity because that's the same sensitivity that I use for the FPS games that I play. So I'm, I'm really used to that sensitivity. Of course for you, if it's too much or not enough, you can adjust it. If you play on the controller, I don't know why you watched this video, but if you did, I recommend having a higher uh, sensitivity for camera control than aiming speed. And the reason is that you can quickly stop aiming when you need to flinch shot to move the camera faster and then start re-aiming. And then finally, I set up my camera distance too far. If you play on controller, I'm sorry this episode did not teach you anything, but in the future episodes, I will talk about stuff that will help you both if you play with controllers or with mouse and keyboard. So stay tuned.